hot out here. What's up you guys, welcome back. We got a few things going on today. First, it is the Transcona High Neighbor Festival again this weekend, so we're gonna go out and do a couple things in the festival, parade, you know, carnival, all that kind of cool stuff. We're gonna try and test out the Dyna today and see how that goes, so hopefully that works out. And uh, chances are we're gonna be hitting a house party later, so let's get this video going. No wheelie! <laughs> it's that time you guys have been waiting for it and I've been waiting for it Let's bust out the Dyna I've been doing a lot of stuff to this bike over the past few months and that means there's a whole lot that can go wrong so fingers crossed that everything works right off the bat and today goes without a hitch so that I can actually ride and do some wheelies and stuff but you never know what's gonna happen so let's get this thing on the ground it hasn't hit the ground in like six months so this is kind of an exciting time Well, I guess I should do a quick test to make sure everything works before I go anywhere. Well, that was short-lived. I got no foot brake. Everything else seems to work, though, so let's get that sorted real quick. I'm not even going to film that. Get that fixed, wash it, go ride it. Looking good all shined up. Look at it. Look at it. Well, I think we're good here, so let's go test ride this bee. All right, we're back on the Dyna. It's been a long time coming. This thing feels weird now after all the time I've spent on mini bikes for the past little while. I still don't really have a foot brake. Like, it's kind of there, but kind of not. I gotta fucking take this whole setup apart and get that all figured out because that's uh, that's my wheelie lifeline right there. That's not good. I need rear brakes to be working on point all times. But what can you do I guess in such a short time frame? I just wing this bike together and obviously there's going to be some bugs to work out for the next little while because everything about this bike is almost new now which is kind of cool. I think we touched everything over the past few months except for the engine but otherwise there's new parts on this thing all over the place that I have to get used to and break in and make sure they're working right before I start going ham on this thing so if you're expecting me to start going ape shit right now right off the bat you uh you're not really in for what you're looking for today because I gotta break all this stuff in yeah I got no rear brakes nothing well it's a good thing I have a handbrake <laughs> that thing seems to work Let's see if that works. Oh yeah, that one works. Foot brake though, I don't know what the deal is, man. I bled that thing out a shitload today and it's still, there's like maybe some air trapped in there or something that's, I don't know, just getting by me because I keep pushing fluid out the bleeder and it's all good. I reverse bled it too and you know, I didn't see any air coming out of it. I sucked all brand new fluid through it and it seems to work. Like right after I bleed it, it works and then it just fades away. So there's some there's some air trapped in there somewhere or something, or maybe I gotta rebuild this master cylinder or some shit, I don't even know. It's tough to figure out because I am running an entirely new brake setup on this bike, which is obviously gonna be some figuring out. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Oh, it did a little bit. But on the upside, my fancy new front brakes seem to be wearing in pretty nicely. I feel like they're getting stronger every time I dab on them, and man, let me tell you. <laughs> Even in the totally brand new state where they shouldn't be working 100%, they're already 10 times better than what was on this bike. So I can't wait till, you know, I put it like 50, 60 miles of braking on this thing and they actually seat in properly and everything gets, you know, dialed in. And then these things are gonna be fucking whoop. Well, I guess since I don't have brakes, I can go somewhere and do circle burnouts. Yeah, we got front brakes. Oh. Well, 
that was weak. Well, I guess that's a good test of my suspension. I can already tell. Definitely need to crank up the compression on it. That thing came down a little bit rough, but I haven't touched nothing. I'm pretty sure everything's set either neutral or on the softest settings right now. I did crank up the spring preload full bat just because I wanted the ride height and I did do that, but I haven't touched uh, compression rebound at all yet. So it sounds like that's something I'm gonna have to dick around with the next few days. And I have to dial in these brand new rear shocks too. Totally slipped my mind on that also. I've had so much things on the go with this bike that I forgot a bunch of stuff. I'm really kind of wishing I was more prepared to make this video today. Like the video that came out last week was last night. I'm starting to feel all kinds of weird little things going on here. My shifter, something's up going on with that. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to look at that. Brakes not working. Suspension's a little soft. I'll tell you what, when you're building bikes and stuff, it doesn't always go easy. In fact, pretty much never goes easily when you're doing like all kinds of crazy modifications, especially like this where you're working with parts and things that weren't entirely meant for what you're, you know, the bike you're putting it on. So kind of got to take it and deal with it and not be a little bitch about it. It's funny, you know, even though I'm not working on my bike right now in my head, I'm, I'm making a list. <laughs> I'm doing all kinds of shit right now. Things I got to perfect and tweak and this and that. This week is going to be all of that fun stuff. And to be honest, not going to film any of it because that's one thing people don't really realize and that's something that I have to deal with on a regular basis. When you're trying to get work done and do things in the shop and you're making a video at the same time, that makes shit take four or five times as long. It's way more stressful and the other thing is you end up forgetting shit or you overlook things or whatever because you're trying to focus on two things at once, getting angles, getting shots and then working on the bike at the same time and thinking about what the finished product, the edit's gonna be in. I like making shop videos and thankfully people like watching them, but sometimes it pisses me off a little bit. And today is one of those days. Because if I wasn't making that video, last week's video, whatever, chances are some of these things might not might not have gotten overlooked. But whatever, it is uh, it is what it is, right? I'm on the dyna again. Can't complain, because this bike is fucking sweet either way. <laughs> Somebody spray painted a dick on the ground. Just sent it. Oh my god. Well another good note is The little wheelie road looks money right now. It's perfectly clean. Somebody was telling me it's all dirty and shitty and unrideable right now like I think someone was Telling me some lies because this looks perfect. A bunch of tire marks from I don't know who. Those look like truck or yeah I think those are truck burnouts. They're marking up my spot so let's Let's put a new one here for them. Let them know what's up and who fucking rips this place. <laughs> there you go. Well, that stinks like rotten garbage over here. There we go, fuck. Still revving it out. Still don't fully, fully trust that handbrake just yet. That fucking rotten garbage smell, man. I can't take it. Look at some asshole's been dumping garbage bags all over here. I guess what I could do is try and find a fire ass spot in that nice sunset to get some snaps for the Instagram. <laughs> oh, it's rough in here. There we go. That looks like a pretty good spot. Look at that money sunset going down. That right there is the dopeness. Oh sure, I put my camera away and it looks even more awesome. What the deuce? Whatever, I'm not unpacking all my shit again. All right, well I think I'm gonna call this ride off so that I can A, go get some mini donuts because I only get those like once a year and I'm craving me some mini donuts. And B, so that I can go and try and bleed these brakes out one more time and see if I can get them to work because I kind of like to ride this thing to that party tonight would be nice. Seeing as I don't drink anymore I can take my bike to parties and not worry about staying there and crashing for the night or whatever. I can actually <laughs> go home and sleep in my bed all that. Actually this party last year, shit, 
that's awesome. That's the last time I drank, so it's been one year since I've drank. Pretty sweet. And I'm so stoked I quit drinking, because it's such a waste of time and money and whatever else. You know, I didn't have like any kind of problem or anything where I was drinking too much or whatever and I had to stop. Nothing like that. I was just over it, man. I'm 30 years old. I'm gonna be 31 this year. And like, I don't want to waste my time. You know, I've, I'm getting older. That means the awesomeness factor of things that I do is gonna start sliding downhill real goddamn fast. And I want to make the best of it while I can. And one easy way to do that was to give up something that I didn't really give a shit about in the first place. It would just be you know, going and drink beers with my friends or whatever, get shit faced every once in a while. Like, I don't know. It's not really that big of a deal not to do it. I can go out and do all the same stuff with my friends and not drink at all and have just as much fun. In fact, I have more fun because when you're not the drunk person in the group, when you're like stone sober, man, you get to mess with people. It's a good time. Another thing about it is the staggering amount of shit you can get done when you're not going out once a week or whatever like most people do. That one night, I can get so much done. Like I can, I can make an entire video and actually do something productive, which is awesome. So, and then not feel like shit the next day. So it means I have a whole other day to do stuff where usually people my age are dying on the couch for the entire day and don't want to do anything. All right, we're here. Let's wrangle up some goddamn mini donuts. Thanks. Well, I think you're gonna see normally. No, <laughs> this thing is not built like a normal Harley. Oh, perfect mini donut holder. All right, let's get out of here. Go try and bleed these brakes and then go ahead to that party. All right, I'm being less of a grouchy bitch now. I've had some donuts, had some food, had a shower. Feel a little bit better about this situation today. So I managed to get the rear brake kind of working. It's still not 100% though. It's kind of like 60, 70 ish. So. That tells me there's definitely some air trapped in there that's not coming out. I've bled it every direction possible. I've reverse bled it, forward bled it, vacuum bleeder without the vacuum bleeder, and clearly there's just like one little bubble in there that's being a dick and doesn't want to come out. So I'm gonna have to work on that. It does kind of feel like my shifter is let up though. I think uh, with putting that new shifter on there, maybe that's, it was pretty tight when I put it on. So I think that's what's maybe causing it to bind, but it feels like it's uh, actually returning now, which is pretty sweet. So I think maybe it's just wearing in. So that's one less problem I got to deal with. So this week, boy, it's going to be dedicated to nothing but the Dyna, getting everything dialed, getting all the bugs worked out of it, everything feeling tight and perfect so that me and this bike can perform on the level that you guys expect and that I expect out of myself and this thing. So we're going to go hard at it. Hopefully we can get it all done and get some new footage by next week. If not, well, if I gotta take a week off and not have a video next week and come back two weeks later, hey, I really don't care. I know it might bump some of you guys out, but to me what matters most is having everything dialed so that I can make these videos for you and I can ride the best that I can. So, hey, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices, right? Let's give it one more blast of that Sawicki pipe though before we get there. <laughs> cut it short. I can't do it like I used to, man. I can't operate on three hours of sleep anymore. So that's it for this one. Hopefully I'll be back next week with a working Dyna and we can start doing some business. So we'll see you again in the next one. <laughs>